Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about all things SATS, what is SATS, how you can use it to literally manifest any of your desires overnight, and how much of a scary technique this is. I use this for not one week, not three nights, but one night. One night, I woke up the next day and my video blew up. So I'm gonna be talking all about that. But before I get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about all things Law of Assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. So what is SATS? SATS is an abbreviation for state akin to sleep. It was coined by Neville Goddard, who was a spiritual leader in the 1940s. He would speak about SATS in all of his lectures, in all of his books. And it seems like it was the most successful technique for him. Every single time he used it, he produced massive results. He got all of his desires in about three to seven days, which is insane. I have had amazing instant success stories. One being literally a couple of days ago, I tried using sats and the next day my video blew up. So it's really, really scary. And I'm still using it every single day and my subscriber count is just growing and growing and growing. So, so what is state akin to sleep exactly? It's a state of consciousness that you feel that is basically the same feeling as drowsiness when we are falling asleep at night. In this state, our minds are so relaxed and open to suggestion, meaning that we can literally manifest anything by visualizing in this state and we can get things so much faster with little to no effort. I wanna talk about the ladder technique, which really highlights what SATS is. Neville Goddard would always talk about the ladder technique during his lectures. This technique is so important, but it was actually never spoken about in his books, which I find super interesting. But he would get people that attended his lectures to do this technique for three days. So he basically got them to fall asleep, visualizing themselves climbing a ladder every single night. The next day, he got them to affirm, I am not climbing a ladder. I am not climbing a ladder. I am not climbing a ladder. So he ended off his request with saying that if you did not climb a ladder within these three days in your 3D reality, do not come back to this lecture. Every single person came back to that lecture, which just goes to show how powerful SATS is. They literally affirmed against it for three days straight and they still climbed a ladder. Now, when everyone came back to the lecture, Neville simply stated, you could have done the same thing visualizing being a millionaire. The same thing happened to me, but funny thing is, is it didn't even take me three days. I successfully fell asleep into the state of the wish fulfilled and the next day, I started seeing my video begin to blow up. Now, what did I do? I just had a vision of 100,000 subscribers. I did not have a feeling of happiness or excitement. I had no feeling at all. I was neutral about it. I neither believed it nor disbelieved it. It was just a vision in my mind and I successfully transitioned from that drowsiness state just before you go to sleep into sleep with that vision in my mind on a constant loop until I fell asleep. And that's exactly what you need to do to successfully manifest anything using sats. When I tell you my video literally was maybe on like 500 views with a couple of comments, it literally blew up and I started seeing my view count, my comments, my subscribers just soar right after that. So to enter this state, Neville Goddard recommends to lie down in a comfortable position right before we're going to bed. Then we have to start imagining a scene that represents our desired outcome. Now I suggest creating a five second loop that you can repeat over and over. I don't think that it's necessary to have a very long visualization. It needs to be something very simple. Neville Goddard believes that you should use all of your senses like smell, touch, taste, whatever. But I don't even believe that that's necessary because when I started using this in sats, 
All I saw was an image of Rita Kaminsky and then 100K subscribers below that. I wanted to make it as simple as possible for myself because I do not have the energy to be sitting there and really thinking and feeling and imagining this scene. And when I tell you that even an image is enough, not even a feeling as if you have it, just having that image in your mind as you're falling into sleep is enough. As we do this, we may begin to feel drowsy and even start feeling like we wanna fall asleep. That's no problem at all. That's exactly what we want. That's the thing is that our subconscious mind is going to continue to work throughout the night as we're sleeping. The key to success with this technique is that we should be practicing it every single night. As we are practicing this, we are reprogramming our subconscious mind to get that reality that we desire. Now, a couple of things to know. I don't believe that it's important, but I do believe that it helps if you feel like you know that that thing is yours now. But again, I didn't feel like this when I used sats. In fact, I felt like I was fighting myself every single time I did do that and my manifestation wouldn't come to fruition. It was only when I started imagining an image or a five second scene instead of me walking up to the computer, sitting down, opening my laptop, typing in Rita Kaminsky on YouTube, then looking at my you know, profile picture, Rita Kaminsky, and then looking down to 100K subscribers, oh my God, and then I'm gonna make myself feel this feeling of how would I feel if I saw that 100K subscribers? No. So an image or a five second loop, depending on what you want, will suffice. Now, state of kinder sleep doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it when you are falling asleep into the state of the wish fulfilled. You can be doing this while you're taking a shower, washing the dishes, walking, do it whenever it feels right for you. But personally for me, it just took all of the pressure off knowing that I'm already going to sleep. I know that I'm gonna be sleeping for eight hours and all I have to do is imagine what it is that I want in my mind and it's going to come to me the next day and my subconscious mind is going to be reprogramming for eight hours, yeah, thank you, I'm gonna take that. Now, another tip that I wanna suggest is going to sleep when you're actually drowsy and tired already. I know that that is not a reality for a lot of you. Sometimes you have to go to sleep at a specific time to wake up at a specific time. But if you can set your body clock and your sleep schedule in a manner where you know that you're going to be tired at 10 p.m. or whatever it is that you wanna go to sleep, that's really beneficial. Also, maybe having a chamomile tea or a relaxing tea, having some lavender around you, taking a nice relaxing shower, doing whatever it takes for you to feel calm and ready for bed is so helpful because I would just remember doing sats when I was fully awake and then adding on top of that, making myself imagine something would just stimulate my mind and I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. So that is such a hack to already be feeling drowsy. The only thing that you need to know that you have to create an image or a five second loop in your mind, a visualization that implies that you already have your desire and you want to carry that from consciousness to drowsiness to fully unconsciousness. And that means that you have successfully used sats and your thing will literally come the next day. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So please don't beat yourself up if you have fallen asleep and you wake up the next morning and you're like, oh my God, I actually haven't used sats. That's okay. There's always a fresh night to keep starting again. And you got this. I literally knew about sats a year ago and I would be on and off it for such a long time. And every time I do it, I'd know that I was practicing and getting better at it each and every single time. And now I feel like I really have mastered it. It's also worth checking out my video from a couple of months ago talking about sats. I feel like I'm more of a master now doing sats, but I do bring up excellent points in that video as well. So if you're looking to get your desires literally overnight, try practicing Neville Goddard's state akin to sleep technique. Remember to stay consistent and focused and know that it is already done now and you're going to get your desire literally the next morning. I want you to try this tonight and let me know how it goes 
tomorrow and I guarantee you, you will get your manifestation. Please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. Have an amazing day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.